you're in a high risk working environment. The wind's a big thing offshore. And if it's wet and truly really cold, it can be dangerous. You have to be switched on. Golden Eagle is a fantastic safety record, we're very proud of it. And that's down to the people working here, it's the people working here every day of the year, doing the right thing at the right time. It's following the tools we have in order to stay safe, by choice, permit to work, uh, and ultimately using Stop Work Authority. Without the technicians actually working safely and following procedures and, and communicating what they're doing clearly, um, we wouldn't be operating safely. And the good thing about the Golden Eagle is that the team out here really push safety at all times. I think we have an excellent safety record because we have a really positive workforce. Uh, we have lots of positive reps on the platform, including safety reps, environmental reps, hydrocarbon release champions. Uh, these guys are dedicated to making sure the platform is, is, is a safe place to work on. And I think the guys having an open communication with the managers and supervision and board encourages a really positive workforce engagement. On here, we work as a team, the management and the safety reps. We work together and they involve you in everything. I take part in many risk assessments, Aberdeen management team meetings. I've took part in many uh, an investigation, onshore, offshore. And a big thing I, I see in the safety role is, uh, is to coach safety coach each other. We're not here to police people, we're here to look after each other. And I believe that if you look after each other, the, the health and safety starts to look after itself. So that's a big part of what, what I do as a safety rep. In order to ensure we maintain our readiness for any emergency response, uh, we carry out weekly exercises. Uh, these are exercises planned by the, the HSE supervisor. Uh, it could be anything depending on, on what the scenario is they week, uh, a fire, explosion, a missing person. To ensure there's no complacency within the training, we make sure that none of the OIMs or emergency response team know about what the scenario is going to hold. Uh, we keep it all to ourselves and they only find out when the alarm goes off. General platform alarm has been activated due to indication of fire in the galley. All personnel are to don warm clothing and proceed to their main muster stations. An emergency response exercise involves quite a bit of work. We have to make sure that our fire teams are trained for responding to a fire or a gas release. Uh, we have to make sure that our medics are fully trained up for uh, dealing with casualty handling. Uh, we also have to ensure that all personnel respond to the muster station and are adequately dressed and prepared for perhaps an evacuation of the platform. If we did have an emergency, we would first leave the platform by means of helicopter. Then if the helicopters weren't available, we would go to our secondary route of escape, which are our three lifeboats, three, four lifeboats, which each hold 70 personnel. If they weren't available, we would then move down to the Skyscape system. We also have donut systems. And then our final one would be the Escape to Sea Ladders. Safety is our number one priority here on Golden Eagle. It's the, the linchpin in everything we do. It's one of the safest places I've been. The attitude of the people is all about safety. You need to believe in, in safety. You need to believe in looking after each other.